Alright now. Alright guys. Alright guys. Alright. Alright, so alright. Alright guys. Yep, alright. Alright guys. Alright. Alright, so Okay boys. You got something to say for it? Yeah. Hi. Welcome back, YouTubers, gunners, subscribers, my people. I missed you. We're gonna vlog more. More content, more fun. Don't mind the heater in the back. I'm about to shoot the jersey right now. Um, going to get a motor for Kobe. Going to just start collecting parts. I got a cluster on the way, an EK9 Type R1. Um, trying to find a five lug now. I'm just, just gathering, gathering parts. So I want to go buy a K24 today. There's a place called Engine Depot. We're going to shoot over there, check out their facility. Um, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, this is a perfect time to put out content too. Everyone's in quarantine. Everyone has to stay home. Why not show you guys what the hell I'm doing until curfew, basically? <laughs> it just sounds so crazy, man. Whatever, though. Um, yeah. I don't really get to put my merch on YouTube too much, but I just show you guys what we're dropping Friday. So this is the original design that helped me start the Keep Gunning brand. So we retroed um, the black hat, the red hat, and we made it with the year that our first release was from 2017. So black hoodie, red hoodie. We're also going to stick a thousand dollars in hundreds um, and spread them out. So I've got a thousand bucks to spread out. Hopefully, you know, some of my gunners and, and subscribers and all my supporters can use that money towards uh, whatever that they need. You know, medicine, food, whatever it is to keep this world. Uh, together and we're all gonna weather through the storm obviously together, but this is gonna be a fun drop I can't wait to do it. So this drops Friday This Friday 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and let's stick a couple of stickers in there stick a couple of uh, uh, We made these keep gunning uh, like lefty napkins that we made for the party But unfortunately if you're uh, stuck under a rock we cannot have gatherings of more than 50 people now so the party had gotten canceled because the venue said yeah, no way you guys can't have a gunner party here. But Lefty's drawing is Saturday. This Saturday, as you're watching this video, this Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel, I will go live. We're going to have five random gunners here. We're going to draw out the number, and the winner has... We extended the, the three-day policy, obviously, because of this quarantine thing, of this coronavirus thing. So we're going to lay out some more time for people. Oh, my God, this car looks so gorgeous right now. Give me a thumbs up right now. Give me a like right, right now. Right, right now, please, if you can. Thank you. On the highway now, guys. Uh, we're gonna go head up, uh, head up to Jersey, and pick up uh, Sleepy Gunner. Uh, he just got back from Texas. <laughs> Dude's been washing bed sheets. So, go and go save Trappy right now. Get him out of that house. Um, the place is fairly close to where I'm picking him up. We're also going to check out this uh, Honda, the Odyssey Absolute. So it's the same exact spec as a K24 A2, uh, K24A, 10 and a half to one compression. Uh, and it's a hundred bucks cheaper. They're saying there's something up with the, uh, the water pump housing that I have to change it obviously and just put an A2 one, which I have. So yeah, I'd rather pay the hundred dollars cheaper. So Maybe we'll start seeing more of these motors uh, commonly used, the Odyssey Absolute. Uh, honestly, I just learned about it when I hit them up. I never even knew the Odyssey came in the K24. Not really that much of a, like a JDM fan, you know? I just know what I know. And that's it and what works. So. We'll be there shortly. You don't have to do the traveling. You just get to see the cool clips. Hey guys, I text Trappy that I was downstairs. This is how I gotta manipulate him to be on time, or else I'll wait 20 minutes downstairs. Look, I told him I was downstairs. Seven minutes left. What do you guys think? You think he's outside? You think I have to wait? I'm about a quarter mile away from his house. What do you think? Comment below. Oh, there he is, he's texting, he's texting. Is he outside? Or is he in? Oh boy. Oh, he won. Nailed it. All right, so I got it. Trappy needs a, uh, <laughs> Trappy needs, <laughs> he needs a seven minute head start. 
Yo, door's locked. All right. All right, they're clean, you sure? You don't got virus? Yeah, yeah, clean your hands before you get in here, bro. <laughs> We're here, boys. We're at uh, JDM Engine Depot in Belleville, New Jersey. They said they got about 90 motors. We're gonna check, oh, look at this, Trappy. Ooh, ooh, that's clean. That's minty. That's minty. We're inside, boys. Um, this is JDM Engine Depot in Belleville. They've been here for years, man. I remember coming here as like a 15-year-old and picking up a transmission from here a long time ago. But they've got everything as far as lights, um, side skirts, motors, hoods, a lot of Japanese stuff, a lot of JDM stuff. Um, I'll get you guys the exact um, address for this joint. So shoot them a follow. Find them. They got it here. We're just going to wait for our motor to pull out through there, and we're just going to inspect it. And if everything's good to go, we'll load it up. And Kobe's on the way. So when you talk about motors on deck, yeah, a lot of motors on deck. All the guys here. What's going on? How you doing? Everything's there. Got a bunch of K's. A bunch of red top H's. <laughs> Don't kill me. See, H's, I'm giving y'all love. K's, uh, GTR motors, RB's. Two Jay Z's. I mean, the, the, this thing goes. This thing goes way down. This place is huge, huge. So we're just waiting for our K24 single cams. We're just waiting for our K24 to come out so we can check out the condition on it. Is this it right here? Just the absolute? Yeah. Okay, boys. So this is the K24A absolute. This is this comes in the Odyssey. So it's basically the same exact spec as a K24A2, which is the TSX, but you save a bunch of money because you'd have to replace the water housing side. But that's easy, just get a K24 USDM or JDM um, water pump. And they, um, they're gonna bring about, you know, two, another motor, and then we get to pick which one we wanna take. But this will be, um, this will be our platform at K24. No, I've never seen that. <laughs> Yo, this thing is <laughs> great. Now, this has got to be a B20. Oh, wow. no, it's an LS. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. That's clean. <laughs> Look how clean That's this motor. Hold on, I got to get some good lighting on this. Guys, we don't see motors like this this clean, man. Hold on. Jesus wow. Christ, this is unicorn. This is how we're going to do the B-Series build, bro. Yeah. We're going to get the cover for it. Look at that manifold. Dude. Yeah, that manifold. The clips are still, like, green. Look at this oil pan. <laughs> Holy shit. That's fine. Wow, that's that's awesome. Yo, oh, this JDM GSR right here. Oh, oh my is. god. <laughs> this thing. That's what sick. the hell is going on in Japan, man? They're not driving? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this thing is stupid clean. Yeah, that's cool. We don't see this in America, boys. We don't see stuff this clean, man. Oh man. Yeah, we can go all day though. We can go all day. Pause. Look at this. Hold on. So we just, so we just, yo, what's your name again, bro? Nelson. So Nelson, we just looked up up there and said something, that mode is too clean. So he said, you know what? Let's bring it down. If we like it, we can take that one. Oh, man. I can't wait to see how mint this is, Trappy. Oof. Things brand new, bro. Oh that's man, that's the one. That's the one, boys. That's the one, boys. Look how mint this is. Nah, this is brand yeah, new. Yeah, Nelson, this is it. Look at that timing cover track. Nah, this is brand new. Yeah. Oh my god. So Nelson is gonna basically show us the process before they let every motor go out of here, just to make sure everything is fine. So they spin the motor, right? Very smooth. I can hear the compressions here. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's coming out yeah, of there. The moisture. Good. Yep. Okay. The good thing about it, you don't notice that the motor is not much because you still see the number. The serial okay. number. Mm -hmm. Just the serial number on the motor. And we usually check. Sometimes it has a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. 
Got it. Basically, basically that's it. We check out all of them. Sweet. Yeah, we shine the light in there. So, what do you check for when you go in there? Um, I check um, condensation on the motor to see because I, all, all these cans, mm -hmm. they usually the condensation made out a little bit of rust on them. So okay. I don't like to sell that to customers. Gotcha. Wow, that's clean. It looks great. Both are nice and clean. Nah, this motor looks super clean. Yeah. Yep. So you're gonna take it all apart. Oh, yeah. definitely gonna take it apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna put a head package. We're gonna do an oil pump on it. This is gonna be great. Thank you, Nelson. Appreciate you're you, welcome. bro. Okay, boys, there it is. Uh, six fifty for the long block. I think that's a great price. Had to pay the little sales tax on there. You can't, you can't beat Uncle Sam. And I paid with my card, so an additional twenty bucks, give or take. Seven twelve fifty six paid. And our motor's right here. Now we'll get to see it in the lighting and see how clean it is. Look at that. I'm gonna load this sucker up and get it over to the garage. Good to go. There it is, boys. We're loading it up. Kobe Project is on the way. Well, guys, the dilemma is this. I dropped off Trappy at home, and I'm by myself. I'm gonna, this is gonna be fun, unloading this motor into the garage. I think I'm gonna have to use the lift and the chain. But before that, I'm starving. I'm gonna stop at my favorite, uh, favorite Italian place to get a nice uh, chicken cutlet sandwich. I hope they let me record in there. You know how these, you know how the Italians do. You know, like to keep things off camera. I get it, I get it. And I agree. Right. Let's get this sandwich, boys. Let's get our asses to the garage, boys. Safe and sound. Okay, guys, I had my quick bite of lunch. Lefty looking, lefty looking badass. Okay, big BD. I see you, big BD. So here's the plan. I'm going to try to back up the truck under the lift here, use these chains to strap up the motor, lower the lift, hopefully without touching the, uh, the back of the bed of the truck, cutting the straps off the pallet and then landing the motor on this dial. So wish me luck. Here we go. It's just so genius. It might work. I should stop recording. All right, let me get this right, boys, because <laughs> we're getting close. Okay, so this is the best that I can come up with. I'm going to move that chain onto this side, get that motor onto the lift, to lower it a little bit. I got a couple of feet, and then get this chain out, and then get this motor out of here. So here's the situation. I think I'm going to have to cut these straps off first, try to twist the motor to get it to hang on around here. So I loosened up this 14. I brought my gun with me. And uh, I think that's how it's going to have to play out. I got a 17 for the other side on the uh, transmission side. So let's go. Clot! 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 It's just so genius, it might work. That's all she got, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that chain on this side, lift it up, hopefully it doesn't hit the side of the bed, and we're gonna keep rolling. Probably gonna hear a bunch of crunching on this old harness, but we'll be all right. I'll put this guy here. You don't really need a gun or anything. You don't really gotta fully tighten it. It's just, just enough thread for it to hold. So it looks like I'm gonna have to lift this up and then drive the truck out of here. So that's enough. All right, let's bring the car up. Ah, I am so close. Oh my God, I am so close. So, 
I should have chained it a little bit tighter, but I was afraid of this side right here. So I think I'm just going to have to slowly drive this out. But what I'm afraid of, of when I'm driving out, that it slams against here. So I got to figure this out, boys. Okay, I'll take that for now. I will take that for now. Tuck the motor back here. We'll start tearing this down in a couple of days. Me and Trappy will put it on a nice little engine stand, start ripping it apart, getting ready to do the oil pump. Might do the port and polished fully built cylinder head. I don't know, it's a toss up still. I want to make about 280 horsepower with a stock block on this. Should be fairly easy as long as we get um as long as we get the cylinder head to do the right thing. So that's basically it. That block, that whole long block is here. It's been an awesome experience today. I appreciate all of you for joining me. Look at that guy right there. I love him. Um it's about it. I'm tired. Guys, I'm winded, I'm tired. I'm beat up, my body's old. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the content today. I want to try to keep putting out more content because I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home. So, yeah, please do me a huge favor. Share the video, comment, subscribe, show some love in the comments, man. I do this all for you guys, bro. I'm going to teach you guys how to build a car like we're building on this channel for Kobe right now. This is the moment to pay attention. So... I love you guys, man. I hope all of you are safe, man. Keep gunning.